guys, Jared here, and today we're going to be taking a look at something special, something unique. And yes, it's Saturn Day. Why are you looking at my ugly mug? Well, it's because today we're actually going to be looking at the Sega Saturn keyboard and mouse. And I can't really show much in terms of gameplay. I, I can do other reviews where I'm using them, these goods. But right now, I wanted to actually focus in on the actual products themselves. So, first thing you need to know. I tested, I'm looking for my piece of paper, which is not here. Glorious. I tested um, a bunch of games. I didn't play everything, but I played some light gun games. I played some games that you would assume, um, you know, would work with uh, the keyboard and mouse, such as Duke Nukem, Doom... Uh, played through SimCity 2000 a bit, etc., etc. Okay, I tried to, I've tried a wide assortment of games, and the reason why I didn't break this review up into two parts is because, well, almost nothing works with these two products. So they're mainly novelty items today. Uh, if you disagree, and you can prove to me that games like Doom and Duke Nukem work with the Sega Saturn keyboard and mouse. Awesome. I would love to be proven wrong. Uh, but let's, let's go back and take a look. This is sort of like a special feature for Saturn Day. So, first thing we have is the Netlink mouse. Doo -doo -doo. For those that don't know, the Netlink was a lovely adapter that would go into your Sega Saturn uh, port in the back and it would allow you to play peer-to-peer -peer online games. That's right, online, baby! And yes, the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis had access to the X-Ban modem, but this was actually all Sega, although I think they still use the X-Ban technology. But anyways, whatever. This was The Saturn was the first console where they really pushed online as a selling feature in 1996. Think of that. There were only five games that supported the Netlink adapter, and they all still work today. And those are Saturn Bomberman, Duke Nukem uh, 3D, Daytona Netlink Edition, Sega Rally Championship Netlink Edition, and um, Virtual On Netlink Edition. I have all those games with the exception of Daytona. Anyways, so this is one of the, the, the sets, the, the, the Netlink set is the Netlink adapter, which I have, and I've actually, I don't know if I've reviewed, but I've talked about, I did videos on. There's the Netlink mouse. There is the Netlink keyboard adapter, which is, let's get that in, get it zoomed, whoa, awesome. And then there's the Netlink keyboard. And I'm gonna show you all of these in, in greater detail. Now, what's interesting, and from my knowledge, and I could be wrong, again, you guys let me know, uh, I know that this was sold commercially in North America, as you see here, okay, in this little box. You had the keyboard adapter that was sold separately in a little box. But it's my understanding, and I've never found this, so I'm pretty sure I'm right about this, that the keyboard, which I'll take out of its little cellophane here, this is a, a PS2 keyboard, and no, not PlayStation 2. I'm going to zoom in so you can really see. Whoa, awesome. See, it says Sega right on it. If you look at the port, you'll see that it is a PS2 port. It is not a USB because it was before the time of USB. And so... What I've been told is that this was only, this black North American version was only made available as part of the Sega Saturn Netlink bundle, which included this, it included the Sega Saturn itself, it included both of these, because you'll notice that this is, this end is a PS2 end, and so you need this, which is just a little tiny adapter here. Here, it's got the Sega Saturn port, which you can see right there, right? And you just, you would plug that into the system and then that's where the keyboard would go. I'm going to redo this, um, this segment and show you all of these up close um, with the camera like this so you don't see my face, but I just want to talk a little bit about it first. 
And so, yeah, um, the I've been told that this was only made available part of that special Sega Saturn. There's actually been one on eBay now, I think for like four or five hundred dollars you can buy it. Uh, and it's been on eBay for like months now. Um, that's about the only way I've ever seen the keyboard officially for sale in North America. Now, a lot of users have been selling this on eBay for the last little while. Uh, there's one particular guy who has them, he's selling them for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks or whatever, and they come just like this with a, a bubble wrap over it. And I purchased mine like that a little while ago. And I'd be very interested to know though, if this was indeed ever sold commercially at retail in a standalone box, um, because I, I don't think so. I've never seen this available anywhere. So my, my, my Netlink set is now done. I have the Netlink adapter, which I didn't take for this video because I've already, I've already shown you to you guys. It's way in a box over there. Uh, but now I have the official Sega keyboard for the Saturn, like I said, it says so right there. It's very cool. And, um, and I've got the, uh, the mouse. And so I wanted to, um, the mouse is right here, I'll open it up and show you guys inside. I like to keep all my stuff pristine, but the truth is that it's it's virtually useless. It's all it's mainly just now sort of an interesting item to have. That's pretty much it. It's like a novelty item. Uh, you'll notice that here, you see that is a Sega Saturn uh, port. You just put that in, and here is the mouse. It says Sega at the bottom, and you've got your three keys A, B, C, and a start button there, and that's that's it. That's all there is to it. That's pretty much that. But what's interesting is that I couldn't get almost any games to work with these things. Uh, with the keyboard, nothing worked. If I plugged in the keyboard and the mouse for games like Doom and Duke Nukem and Quake, nothing. They couldn't get the character to move, couldn't get the system to even recognize it. It just would not work. Uh, Virtual Cop worked with the mouse alone, but unfortunately I couldn't reload because the first button would be like the A button and you had your start button, but if I'm not mistaken, L and R is how you reloaded with the um, Saturn controller and obviously I don't have those. Uh, maybe I could have gone in and redid the control options. I didn't think of that until I had put everything away. But it, this did not work with House of the Dead. I tried House of the Dead, it wouldn't recognize it at all. I would move, no reticule came up, nothing. It would just say, like, please insert the controller, basically, so I was screwed. Uh, it did work, the mouse did work flawlessly with Mist. Mist, not a problem at all, it worked perfectly, you could play the whole game, and probably the best way to actually play the game would be with the Saturn mouse, or the Netlink mouse. Uh, the other game I tried was SimCity, and SimCity did not work. It would not recognize the mouse, it wouldn't recognize anything. So, instead of spending hours upon hours upon hours uh, going through the entire library, I figured, well, we'll do this sort of as like a review or an overview of the, the Saturn um, mouse and keyboard, and then ask you guys, what games do you know that actually work? Don't go by the old Sega 16 or Sega Retro uh, forums, by the way, because the information there is not right. Because uh, clearly, I had read online that a lot of places, um, a lot of people had said, like, Duke Nukem works flawlessly, it's amazing, and if you reference it back, it all goes back to one main source, and that source, the guy said that he didn't even own the game. So, I own the game, I own all of this stuff, and it doesn't work. The game doesn't recognize it at all. Uh, none of the first-person shooters do, at least with North American, the North American game with the North American, you know, Netlink mouse and the Netlink keyboard, I could not get anything to work um, for those particular games. So, if, if you guys know that it does indeed work, let me know if I'm doing something wrong, if there's like, if you're supposed to put the controller first, press start, then swap out. I tried all kinds of variations, like switch ports, I couldn't get almost anything to work. So that means this is pretty much the end of the review because there's not much, it's a novelty item. There's, if you can't use it with many games, what's the point? Um, and today with, with Skype and everything, if you're gonna go on the Netlink, uh, what is it, Netlink Leagues, I think it is, if you wanna set up 
some matches online, you're going to Skype, you're going to talk to one another, you're not going to be typing, but that does work. You can use a keyboard and mouse for just generic netlink functions, which is pretty cool. But, like I say, more of a novelty item. I'm going to take the camera now, I'm going to switch it around and give you guys a very nice, you know, close-up look at all of these different things. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, everyone, so we're going to start off with the Netlink keyboard adapter. And I'm going to see if I can zoom in a bit. There we go. So this is just the box, nothing too, too fancy. I'll give you guys just an overview because this is essentially the complete collection of Sega Netlink stuff. Uh, there you go, nothing too fancy, and here's the actual gizmo itself. So that's where you would plug in any PS2 keyboard, and you've got your little, you know, port for the Saturn. And yeah, nothing, I mean, this is pretty generic. I think they did this on purpose because they knew that uh, many people have keyboards, right? Why would they sell the keyboard separately. At least that's my understanding of why they did this. So you could just buy this instead of having to go and buy an entire keyboard. So there's that. Then we'll move on to the mouse. Well, let's just show you guys like this. Let's see if I can back it up a bit. That's funny. For point and click internet surfing. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And then we'll go like this, if you guys want to read this. Nothing too, um, you know, nothing too incredible. Still have this box in like perfect shape just about. And um, so yeah, you get a nice red mouse pad, nothing fancy. Nothing too, too fancy. It really stinks of rubber. And then you get your, um, your mouse. And like I said in the other portion of the video, that's just, that's your typical uh, Sega Saturn input. And, you know, they give you quite a bit of cable here. And then here we go. So here's the mouse. Let's, let's move this out of the way. Hold on a sec. Okay. So you've got A, B, and C, and a start button, and then it just says Sega. And yes, it's not a digital mouse. You'll know it's got the roller ball. Remember those guys? Let's see how old you are. And that's pretty much it. Like I say, it's mainly a novelty item now today, because there's not many things that this actually works with. So the last thing is the big boy which is this right here. Push this as far back as I can without knocking everything on the floor. So yeah, this is it. This is the lovely little keyboard. I mean, it's a standard keyboard. Very exciting. The only difference is it actually says Sega. That's pretty much it. I'm going to flip it around, show you guys the underside. So you got little feet here. And it's got little rubber feet on the other side. There's a look at the FCC information. And then you have one more. And that's pretty much all she wrote. There's not much more I can say about, uh, about this. It's a keyboard. Ooh! And since I didn't show you in the last section, this is the, the Netlink adapter. That's it. So with that, I now have every single thing or item, accessory, for the Sega Netlink. And with that, I am going to call this a day. I'm going to say thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little overview of some of these more peculiar uh, products. And um, if anyone knows of other games that work with the, the Netlink keyboard and the Netlink mouse, 
uh, please, by all means, let me know because uh, right now it's looking like almost nothing works with these products. So that means they're 100% novelty items. All right, everyone, I'll see you next week with another traditional review. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.